Hello, this is Mrs. Fonts, and I just wanted to share a little bit about the clay or the Play-Doh recipes that I shared with you, two of my very favorites. Um, the first one was a Play-Doh or a Kool-Aid Play-Doh recipe, and it is one of my favorites. It's just such nice Play-Doh. If you use cream of tartar in the recipe, it actually lasts for a very, very long time, six up to six months, and it smells so good. This one is grape. Um, and then another Play-Doh or dough recipe that I included this week that you can make and play with is salt dough. And the cool thing about salt dough is you can shape it and then you can uh, bake it and then keep it. Uh, you can paint that then and maybe keep it for a long, long time. So that's a lot of fun. I've got this little heart that I made out of salt dough and it's ready to be baked. Um, but don't forget when you're using Play-Doh or uh, the salt dough, um, be sure to remember there's lots and lots of things you can do with it. You can um, flatten it out and cut it out. So if you have any cookie cutters at home, I've got this round circular one and I've got a star right here. You can cut out um, things out of Play-Doh. You can add texture to it. I'm going to tip down my uh, screen so you can see how I'm going to flatten out this Play-Doh. Um, this is the salt dough and I'm going to use this cool um, it's like a key shape that I found and I can press that in and make some interesting designs with that or other things. I've got a paper clip. I could put some cool designs in with just a paper clip. Um, I could even take the end of a marker and stamp little polka dots in whatever I make. So that's something you can do that's cool with texture, adding texture to your dough. And then also another thing you can do is roll it and roll a coil. We call this coil uh, making when you are um, creating things, or some people you hear it call, uh, they call it a snake. So you can roll that. This one's kind of sticking to my table right now, but you can roll that and then you can use that to shape and maybe do a spiral shape. You could turn that into maybe a little snail that you wanted to make, or some people think it looks like a cinnamon roll. So after you bake this salt clay, maybe you want to uh, paint it so it looks like a cinnamon roll. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make this into a little snail. So he's got a little head and I would could add some little antennas for him too. So um, you can do that. Um, you can also shape the salt dough into little beads. You can roll them into little spheres and then take maybe a toothpick and poke holes through that and you can do a whole bunch of these and make some beads that you could string and you'd have to bake it but then you could string those onto some string you could paint them and that would make some really neat little beads that you could have so i just wanted to let you know about the clay i hope you get a chance to make some of it and play with play-doh this week see you later bye